what's going on everyone it's your boy jeff here and let's review week two's nfl games uh remember the red circle was my pick the green check mark is who won the game i did all right this week first off the bills look dominant uh tua in my opinion tua should retire from football uh that was bad he's had a few of these and it's not looking good but the bills on the other hand to focus on the game they looked great Ravens and Raiders. I realized that I put the check mark on the Ravens. The Ravens did not win that football game. Somehow, some way, they are 0 and 2. Lamar Jackson and the rest of that offense needs to figure it out. Period. So I apologize to my Raiders fans. The Raiders won that football game. Chargers in Carolina. Chargers win again with another dominant run performance. I mean, like, does it really count as a win when it's Carolina? Carolina has now benched Bryce Young, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Chargers are 2-0. and We play the Steelers this week, uh, so we'll see what happens with that. The Saints are the highest-scoring team in the NFL, and the Cowboys are frauds in Week 2. Week 2 frauds, absolute frauds. Uh, Cowboys look terrible. Saints looked way better than advertised. Uh, the Buccaneers and the Lions, the Lions failed on this one they crapped the bed uh and baker mayfield is probably the mvp of the league right now along with Derek carr which is crazy because the buccaneers looked absolutely fantastic green bay wins without jordan love i think that says a lot about green bay their coaching their preparation it also says that the colts just aren't ready yet the colts aren't ready to put away teams yet Jacksonville crapped the bed. Uh, the Browns looked very, very good. They look serviceable on offense, and they are dominant defensively. They are simply going to be a problem on defense for the rest of the season. 49ers and the Vikings. The Vikings look great. Who, who let Darnold be this good all of a sudden? 97-yard touchdown pass to Justin Jefferson from the three-yard line. You couldn't stop that? Come on. Come on. The 49ers have to figure it out. I mean, like, they got some stacking up injuries. CMC out. Looks like Debo Samuel's going to be out. Uh, you know, so they got to figure out. The next guys have to step up, and they have to be consistent. Um, Seattle and New England. New England should have won this football game, but Seattle – Played very well in the fourth quarter. They did what they had to do to get a W. That was a good win for them. Really good win. The Jets had a bounce back game. Jets had a bounce back game. Um, they deserved that win. Uh, they fought hard. They played really well offensively. Bryce Hall looked very good. Their backup rookie running back, I can't remember his name right now, looked fantastic. They, they righted the ship at least for a week, right? Uh, Washington and the Giants, the battle of terrible offenses. Washington had nothing but field goals, and they won this football game. That should tell you all you need to know about that game. Although Jaden Daniels had some good plays with his feet. Haven't seen too much with his arm yet. He'll get there. He's a rookie. Um, <laughs> speaking of rookies, uh, the Cardinals waffle stomp the Rams. The Rams now have injury problems. Looks like Cooper Cup's going to miss significant time. Um, but Kyler Murray was talking about all week how it's not his responsibility to get the ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. What does he do? Throw three touchdowns to the guy. <laughs> so they looked great. I thought they would. And they did, and they're figuring it out with uh, you know, with the injury problems in San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco losing. Your Cardinals are in first place, tied for first place with Seattle uh, at two and zero at the top of the NFC West. The Steelers' defense is really good, and Bo Nix is really bad. Uh, I'm sorry, Broncos fans. I don't love you, but Bo Nix isn't your savior. I'm sorry, he's not. He's just Tim Tebow with a better throwing motion and slower feet. So I'm sorry he's not saving your franchise. Uh, and the Steelers win again because of their defense. And Justin Fields made some decent plays when he needed to manage the game, right? I think that's what Steelers fans, that should make them very happy. Uh, Kansas City gets bailed out. Yes, it was pass interference. I'm just kidding. Um, I thought the Bengals looked very good. Jamar Chase is an angry young man. He's mad at the franchise. 
Um, and I think it's starting to affect his play. So, but Kansas City wins again. Uh, they are 2-0. and They didn't look great. Uh, they had two interceptions from Mahomes. So, eh, eh. I mean, but they're still 2-0. and They still find ways to win, and that's what makes them great. Uh, Bears and Texans on Sunday Night Football. C.J. Stroud is absolutely unreal, and Caleb Williams is still figuring out. I saw nothing but video on my twitter x feed of oh caleb williams isn't that guy he shouldn't be making this throw stop it he's a rookie quarterback with a very strong arm he will figure out how to play in the nfl i of all the rookie quarterbacks caleb williams is the one i'm worried about the least they'll figure it out he is too talented to not figure out he's not bo nix i'm sorry he's not he's better than bo nix uh, the Falcons decided to fourth quarter. Of course, the Falcons decide to fourth quarter comeback after I post on my Twitter X feed that Kirk Cousins is not an NFL quarterback. <laughs> and then he leads a fourth quarter comeback. If that's not karma, that's my fault. But the Eagles, that's a bad loss for the Eagles. That puts them at one and one. They should be two and zero. Oh, but the Falcons look great. Great, great in that fourth quarter, in that last minute, in that moment, going down the field. Um, and scoring Saquon with that drop cost time, right? Like, even if he doesn't get in the end zone, it's time, right? They could run more time off the clock, and that, and this loss probably does not happen. But overall, it was a fantastic week of football. I'm really looking forward to week three. Uh, I will post my predictions and my picks um, coming up um, probably on Wednesday tomorrow, uh, or I will post them Thursday morning. I've gotten some good feedback uh, from these posts, and I really, really appreciate you guys. So thanks for watching, and here's to another week of football. Hey guys, I want to make sure that everyone is aware of a fundraiser that I have started and that I am a part of through the group called Stack Up. Uh, they are a veteran focused uh, nonprofit group that does. Um, work with veterans and video games as a lot of you know i am a veteran and i am a gamer so this is obviously something near and dear to my heart they do video game themed care packages video game themed trips uh for veterans i will leave the link in the bio i would appreciate if you guys checked it out donate if you can if you cannot please 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 share the link with everyone you can thanks guys